Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here, and we are doing the monthly update video of November. Uh, this month, I got some really cool things, as I say in every video, but it's true. Uh, we There was a military show near where I live, so I went to that and got some really cool things, but otherwise, let's see what I got. So let's start with this down here. This is a AK-47 bayonet. This is the Type 1 variant, I believe, based on uh, the information I could gather. Uh, it's pretty cool, got it for cheap, but as you can tell, it's missing the, the rubber uh, grip here, as well as the attachments to hold onto the belt and the uh, sort of hand uh, strap, so it doesn't fall out of your hand as much. Um, haven't gone around to cleaning cleaning yet, there's still some uh, you know, cosmoline oil on there, it seems like, but I, one thing is I can't tell if it is Russian, you know, Polish, Chinese, um, you know, the markings aren't very clear or noticeable to for me to do any research so for those who know more on this uh, please let me know otherwise cool bayonet uh, let's do this here here we have a um, US oh I forgot the the model number I'll probably put a little message at the bottom of the screen but this is a American canteen that would have been used sometime during the Indian Wars uh, so like mid 1870s and uh, as you can tell it's in really really rough condition uh, the U.S. is very faded. The U is just about gone. You can kind of see it a little bit there. Um, there's some tears of rust. As you can tell, look at all that rust there. It's in really bad condition, but I love, you know, pre-1900s Americana. Um, you know, stuff like this I really love. So I thought, you know, for the price, I was happy with it. And, you know, it displays really nicely still. So that's pretty cool. All right, next thing here is ammunition. Uh, so as you guys may have noticed, I have a rifle, my first rifle, and you know, 8mm Mauser is not the easiest to find. It is easy compared to some other, you know, calibers, but it's not as easy as, you know, 5.56 or 30-06 or even 7.62 by 54. Um, so whenever I get the chance for a good price, I try to pick some up, and we have two different uh, lots that I got. So we'll do this one here. Um, online, I won a bid of 85 rounds. I just didn't bring them all out. 85 rounds of various 8mm Mausers from different countries, different time periods, and so on. Uh, they also all came with stripper clips. So with 85 rounds, each, you know, they're all in stripper clips. So I got 17 stripper clips included, which is really cool. And come to find out, a lot of them are German World War II ammunition. Uh, such as in the video that I shot, as we can see here. Uh, real quick, we'll look a little bit at the rounds, see some head stamps. So here we have some uh, 1944 German ammunition. Uh, here it is. 1944. So that's pretty cool. It has kind of the, the blue paint sealer there on the primer. Um, these I probably won't shoot. I heard online that the you know 44 dated stuff might not be the best idea to shoot just because they're quickly trying to produce them. So quality might be a little iffy. Um, but I also would want to keep some for, you know, display purposes. So I won't be shooting these. Um, here we have some more World War II drone ammo. This one's 1940 dated. All the drone ammo is 1939, 1940 dated besides the five I just showed you. Um, they are from different lot numbers, different uh, manufacturers. Um, but they're all just about the same year. These ones right here, I wasn't able to find online what country or what time period they were produced. Um, so here it looks like an, a 6-0. And then up there it looks like a 0-4. Yeah, it's a 0. Okay, so up top it's 0-4. And then down here it's 6-0 it looks like. Let me take another one out. Here's a rusted one that I won't be shooting. Yeah, zero four, and then either eight zero or six zero at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking maybe Romanian, but I'm not entirely sure. So if anyone wants to help me, please let me know. Uh, some more ammunition here. This one you can see is uh, so these are all steel casing with uh, you know the regular tips. This one is brass casings, and this one is German ammo as well. This one's 1939 dated, as you can see by the 39 right there. So yeah, I got a few of those. 
And then here we have another one that I couldn't find what country they were made. Uh, so this one's made in 1955. You can tell by the 1955. And I looked up the, the double A and what I could find was one made in Denmark. But upon further in investigation, normally they'd be marked ASA, not just AA. But then the other AA manufacturers would have been for like 30-06 and other calibers. So I couldn't find exactly what country this would have been made in. Uh, but nonetheless, pretty cool as you can see, has steel tip or steel bullets uh, instead of the brass ones. All right, then the last item for the monthly update video today is more ammunition. Uh, this one is actually Belgian made eight millimeter Mauser ammunition. So as you can see, we have the original box. It would have had a hundred rounds. All right, so let's read what the box says. So you start off with a hundred, then cartouche Mauser calibre 7.9. So it's um, Mauser cartridges caliber uh, 7.9, so eight millimeter Mauser. Sans chargeur, is without stripper clips. Albal Pointu SS. Um, this is, you know, Spitzer rounds, so the pointy bullets. I'm not entirely sure what the SS is supposed to stand for. Chargé en 1940 is loaded in 1940, or, you know, manufactured 1940. And Fabrique Nationale d'Armes de Guerre, so that's FN. And then uh, Erzal Liège, Belgique. So Erzal Liège, Belgium. So yeah, and let's see what's inside. That's right, 100 rounds, and they're stored pretty neatly. I kind of like that. And let's look at the head stamp. So you can see there's the FN at the top corners there. And then under, you have 1940, which is the production year. They have blue paint uh, sealants on the primers. And otherwise, they are also uh, steel, uh, steel bullets with brass casings. Um, these are all in great condition. They just have... Let's see, like this one, maybe we can see. It's a little hard to see, but they just kind of have some, you know, storage dust. Uh, so otherwise, they're actually in very good condition. I've looked at a few of them, and none of them have any corrosion. None of them have any rust. Um, these are all around very good ammunition, and I will be definitely, I will definitely make a shooting video on these rounds to see how they work, how they perform. Yeah, this is really cool. As you guys know, I'm I'm Belgian. Uh, so anything Belgian related is very cool and I was very very happy to find this because it's Belgian and it's 8mm Mauser ammo that I can shoot. So yeah, very cool indeed. Alright, so that concludes the monthly update video for the month of November. I hope you enjoyed it, it was cool seeing the different kinds of bullets there, or the, the different kind of ammunition. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm very happy with my purchases, and I hope you guys enjoyed too. If you did, drop a like, write a comment, share the video, subscribe. But besides that, you guys have a great day.